What's going on YouTube? My name is Ben Knudsen. Welcome back to yet another awesome big flips tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the trick short stop transfer. It looks like this. for the short stop transfer is the short stop. So make sure you go and check that out. Big Flips has a tutorial on it before you try the short stop transfer. Let's get right into it, guys. So start off, I'd recommend just getting yourself back into that short stop motion. So I'm going to do three right now. Alright, so now that you guys are again used to that short stop movement, we're going to continue on into the actual variation of the short stop, which is the transfer part. So going back over the short stop just very briefly to introduce the transfer part of it, we're going to look at a few key parts of the short stop. So of course, holding the short stop, the first, the first part, making sure you're on that bite handle to begin with. And the second part, of course, is the drop release that will go over your thumb. And I'm gonna stop it right here in the middle of the shortstop to accentuate or to show kind of the point at which you do uh, the special part of this variation of the shortstop. Again, starting from the beginning, you guys are gonna to want to do that first forward run, thumb rollover and stop it on that safe handle, holding it in this position. I'll show you guys that again. So now that you're in this position for the short stop, this is about halfway for the normal short stop. Now for the, for the normal short stop, you would continue this motion. Instead of stopping it right here, you'd go on and you'd finish it like so. But for this guy, we're going to keep it right there just for the purposes of the tutorial and to show where that uh, transition, where that flourish is going to come in. So at this point, you're holding it like this. Now as the knife comes around in the full trick, uh, like you would in the normal, your middle finger stays in there, your thumb and your pointer finger come out as the knife continues to rotate in this clockwise direction. Now, instead of having it come around and you closing into a normal shortstop, from here again, you're going to come around, you're going to let it do that same thing, but instead of grabbing it closed, you're going to grab it, instead you're going to grab it on the bite handle, with your pointer and your thumb right there. So let's recap that just a little bit. You start, starting off the short stop, do half the short stop, do the first half right there. And then as you have it in this position, uh, take, a, take the knife with your left hand just so you can kind of show yourself how this is gonna work. And then follow along, do exactly what I do in the video. So again, Grab this side of the knife, grab it around the pivots with your left hand, or your non-dominant hand. Allow it to rotate around your middle finger, like so, after releasing your pointer and your thumb. Then as it gets to about this point, you're gonna use, using your dominant hand, put your pointer and your thumb on this side of the bite handle. And so now, the bite handle is the handle you have. And at this point, you have it in more of this position. Now, do take note, that during the trick full speed, this all happens very fast, but for the purposes of tutorializing this and slowing it down, I'm showing it in, in these broken, broken steps. So just follow along. This is the final position that you're going to have it in that part of the trick. And I'll show you what that should look like in full speed right here. And that is what it should look like in full speed. So you've done that first, that first release build up momentum of the short stop, first forward thumb roll over, that second toss little flick out, and then you grab on straight on to that bite handle. And now, now that you guys have those parts, if you're having trouble with those two parts, just rewind the video, uh, going back to where I explain this part to this part, 
make sure that you keep looking over that before you go into the last part because then the last part won't make any sense. But now that you guys have learned that part, it's time to move on to the last part. So again, starting in this closed standard grip, holding onto the bite handle, you're gonna do that, those first three or so parts of this new shortstop variation. And you now have the balisong in your hands like this. Now from here, you're going to release your middle finger. And now you just have the knife in between your thumb and your pointer finger with the knife looking like this. This is the blade side right here, and this is the back of the blade. This is the safe handle hanging down. So from here, holding a, the bite handle about vertically, like so, you're going to flick uh, towards you and rotating that way, one rotation, like so. And then with that momentum, simply bring the knife up like this until you have it in a pen slash ice pick grip like this. And I'll show you that again. So you've done the first two parts. You have the knife like this. Make sure to take your middle finger out in between the spine, the back of the knife, and the safe handle. So you're holding the knife just with your pointer and your thumb. Now from this location, now from this point in the trick, you're going to flick this way to bring momentum, push momentum into the knife as you twist. And as this guy goes around like this, you're gonna twist the bite handle with your thumb and your pointer finger uh, around that way, like so. So that when you continue it, you push back into that standard, into that pen grip. So one last time, we're in this position right here. Take out your middle finger, build that momentum up, try to just do it in one swing, and then flick it out, and flick it up like that. And that's the end of the trick, guys. So this trick game actually is incredibly versatile in Bali Song freestyles and different kind of combos that you can do. I'll show you what I mean right here in this fancy combo, cue combo. see it done too often in today's community, which I think is interesting. But there you go guys, hope you found this tutorial interesting, and I hope that you definitely learned the trick, this new variation on the standard short stop. Thank you guys for checking out Big Flip's channel. I have a YouTube channel of my own, please check it out, it's going to be links in the description and linked in the pinned comment. Again, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.